Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Andrew Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one is my throwback review for this week of the Year of the Dead series. This one is my throwback review for The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 16, the season finale titled The Storm. Alright guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead. And another throwback review for today. This one is for my review for The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 16, The Storm. So, uh, boy, I was shocked. I was shocked that this episode won the list because uh, I put the poll up a good few days ago. And we put a lot of episodes on the list. But this one, uh, for some reason, was the winner. I did not expect that. But boy, am I happy it did. Because... Uh, I am about to do a review that I think you guys are about to be really surprised about because I know that this episode gets a lot of hate. A lot of people do not like this episode. A lot of people think that this episode is, you know, really just not good. It's average, whatever. Uh, and I am one of the biggest defenders you'll find of this episode on YouTube. Honestly, I guarantee that because everywhere I go, everybody says, oh my God, this finale was dreadful. Oh my God, this finale was whatever. Um, I love it. I love this episode. I think it's so cool. I think it's so unique. And I love the fact that Walking Dead, after nine seasons, finally tackled something different. It's unique, it's different, and for one episode only, yeah, this is a pretty awesome episode. So basically, this is what this episode is. It's kind of like your aftermath after the calm before, uh, where... You know, you get the heads on pikes, you get alpha, and then they kind of go south for the winter, you know, uh, just like uh, like some animals and stuff. But, um, you know, you get to see, you know, the kingdom at the beginning. You get a bit of a time skip in this one. I believe it's like two months, and you see them. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe it's like two months. And anyway, they are leaving the kingdom. They have no choice. You know, everything's just falling apart at this point. And they have to, you know, abandon it, leave it behind. So uh, I really like it is you kind of got an over voice with Ezekiel. And uh, yeah, man. Now, obviously, after that, they're on the road. They're kind of, you know, traveling along. And you got a few people that are kind of, you know, picking on Lydia, of course, because, you know, they let her stay. And obviously, after the pikes and all that. And Daryl's kind of telling people like Alden, like, you know, can you lay off a little bit? And um, the whole episode, they're kind of wondering if the whispers are around. And, uh, you know... We know that they are because Alpha mentions in season 10 that she does know that they crossed, but uh, we don't see them actually appear in this episode. You know, we see a lot of walkers and we see some in the field and stuff, but nothing too major. And, um, well, then you've got Alexandria, you've got them, they're all trying to stay warm inside of the church, and you've got Negan in this one who starts talking about, you ever wonder what the hell is going on in there when Rosita has her appointments, you know? And he's talking to, you know, Gabriel, and he's like, you could try to be a little less predictable. And he's like, oh, that, that hurts, Gabe, truly. And he's like, you know, we're all grown-ups here, and we would never let that ruin the, you know, closeness that we all have together. And he's like, that's a very mature, mature attitude, father not the father and he's like is that unpredictable enough for you so um you know oh man uh negan continues to be awesome i mean even tied up just saying some words he's freaking hilarious and uh then eugene kind of gets the sense that something's going on uh, and he tells gabriel and sadiq to kind of get away uh from the furnace and then obviously it you know blows up right so Eugene basically says, like, we can't stay here. So they decide they're going to go to Aaron's house. And uh, Negan even says, like, can you guys untie me and stuff? And Rosita's like, well, we can tell Michonne it was an accident. So uh, they end up going out there. Judith sees Dog and she runs to try to save him. And we actually get a really awesome scene for Negan where he actually saves Judith. He actually saves her and Dog uh, and gives her like all his, you know, clothes, like his jacket and all that stuff, just so she can stay warm. And he gets her out of the storm. I mean, that was easily for me the very first moment where I could say Negan was a good guy. Like that, that was the first moment where I was like, okay, like full redemption arc here. This absolutely was, you know, something that we'll never forget. And it's crazy that Rick saved, um, or that Negan saved both Rick's kid and uh, Maggie's kid in the span of a couple seasons. That's pretty crazy. I would have never expected that. So amazing scene there. I love seeing that. And uh, well, then you got Michonne and the others. They decide that they're going to have to stop at a place. So they go to the sanctuary, which is falling apart, uh, where 
you get some kind of dialogue scenes with Daryl and Carol kind of talking about how she's kind of losing it again. Uh, you've also got Ezekiel that talks about, uh, you know, how he feels like he failed and, you know, uh, that the kingdom isn't there anymore. And, you know, Michonne's like, you're wrong because it's right here in front of us, you know, and you still have people to protect. So... Uh, that's really cool, and you basically have them that decide they're gonna have no choice but to go, you know, across the border. So that's what they do. Uh, really beautiful, just cinematic type stuff too, where they're like kind of going across the border, the slow mo as they're walking across the snow and stuff, and it's all filmed on a set too. This episode, which I I really like, uh, and um, you got some frozen walkers. They kind of try to get over this, you know, uh, lake or whatever, this frozen, you know, lake. And, uh, you know, we get some pretty cool kills as the walkers start coming through. I get, like, Daryl with an icicle kill through the eye and stuff. And uh, Michonne with her sword and stuff. And they're kind of trying to get the families across. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was it was really, really cool. So they get to Hilltop. They get there. And a few are going to go back to Alexandria. And you've got Carol in this one. Now, she ends up breaking up with Ezekiel just because of, you know, them just, I guess, not being able to be together after everything that's happened with Henry and, you know, everything like that. And Carol decides that she's going to go to Alexandria. So, uh, but Ezekiel says that he's never going to stop loving her. So, they go back. Uh, you've got a pretty awesome kind of snowball fight scene at the end, which uh, I do know that that was not scripted either, uh, but it was perfect. I love that they kept that in there. I thought that was really, really awesome. Uh, arguably one of my favorite scenes of the episode, just because it's nice to, you know, see everybody all happy after everything that went down, right? So that was really cool. And, uh, well, we then kind of get a bit of a time skip into the spring, right? We got, you know, Alpha, she's getting ready. She's got to be stronger for what comes next. And uh, we do get a bit of a cliffhanger here with Commonwealth, which is pretty crazy that Commonwealth technically has an inclusion in season nine uh, with Stephanie at the very end uh, as anybody out there. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. And I think that it's definitely a really kind of cool intrigue type moment for the next season. And ob obviously comic viewers and comic readers at the time, uh, I remember I was even like, yeah, like that's, that's who that is. So uh, years after, after seeing this episode, um, man... Uh, I love it. I love the episode. I really, really do. I can say the only thing I think the episode kind of lacked on a little bit was action at times, but I'm still going to go ahead and say this is a 9 out of 10 episode. I think it's a really fantastic episode. It's a really original type, you know, style episode uh, with the storm and the snow and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I really do not see the hate that this episode gets. I really can never understand it. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about the storm. Looking back on the episode now. And uh, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos for The Walking Dead. Follow Dan's Walking Dead so come, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon for another video for The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And peace out. My God! No!